Bow scat episode. Skiddly bit bat boom bat episode. Welcome into another episode of One Two Review. It's episode eight. Wow, we're deep in it. Thank you, listeners, for hanging on. We got a bunch of beautiful movies to review for you today. I just want to kick the intro. Kick it. One. Um, yeah, sorry. Sometimes I just yell hello and then there's some dead air after that because everyone's kind of waiting for me to say more. It's really loud and then, yeah, we wait it's for a little more. aggressive. Anyway, hi guys. How's everyone doing today? Uh, doing great, Alex. Thank you. Brandon, East Coast. It's a, it's a pretty good day. You know, it's a brand new day. Sunish. Now, Brandon, you took a week off to go to the beach and you had an injury. I'd only heard a little bit about that. What what um, do you want to talk about that with our listeners or? Yeah, I can talk about it a little bit. Um, I know it's going to have an impact on this episode a lot. So basically, yeah, I was on vacation and some people know I have a really weak back and um, I kind of jiggled it a little bit too weird and I was really sore. So I had to take it easy, but okay, we lost him there for a second. Did we? Did you hear? I heard him. Did you hear him? Yeah, I keep it keeps dropping out on my internet for some reason. Bummer, dude. I don't know. There's also. Do you guys hear that jazz? You don't hear the jazz? Yeah, there's a saxophone solo (laughs) happening in the the last hour. It's kind of cool. Anyways, yeah, I have a week back, and um, I, I heard it a little bit, so I had to take it easy, but it was all good. We was on the beach, um, but this week, we're actually going to be having the week back health awareness week, so it affects our scorekeeping this week. Um, yep. Luke, do you want to tell us about how we're going to keep score this week? Yeah, No. not only is it your week back after a week out, but um, we are just you know bringing to people's attention that some... You know, individuals weren't blessed with the best genetics and um, sometimes were fed too much dairy in earlier life and may have resulted in um, just a week back. So, hey, take it easy on on the skinny folks out there. We're not all as tough as as each other. And, um, you know, just basically just uh, look look out for each Thanks, other. Thanks, Luke. I appreciate it. And, and in, in honor of that, right, today, uh, to, to keep score, we're going to be working out our backs a little bit uh, by doing our push-ups. Right. That's a big part of back awareness is is uh, physical health and, and working out those muscles. And, and uh, Yeah, I ate an apple earlier, and we're going to be doing some push-ups. So I'm excited. Health is right around the corner. Yeah, so our score our scorekeeping this week will be we'll each do a push-up for every, every – um, point that we give a film uh also there's a reason why we're doing this is is we don't have an abacus uh currently at least one that can be used so we we uh, traded the granite abacus the big one for a aged gold abacus from an old uh chinese shop in chinatown and uh it turns out it wasn't we it, weird vibes yeah we weird vibes from we're that. getting weird vibes and while you were away for a week luke and i had quite a fiasco with this abacus uh, it is not aged gold at all. That doesn't even exist. It's it's a copper abacus, and it's cursed. It's got some demon in it or something. And um... okay, so first, let's address the issue of losing all that money on this abacus because we thought we were actually making a lateral trade on the value of it, and it turns out that um, we lost all our money because it's not gold. It's made out of copper um or brass what i don't know what what it was Uh, i think it was copper but uh yeah so that was the first problem and the second problem is we kept hearing sounds and i know we all heard them on the last episode but after the episode was over guess what i still live with this abacus and uh it kept making little screams and and moans and so it's in the closet right now and and, um, and as far as the Patreon donors, thank you guys so much for donating to that project. It turned out to be a... Uh, a disaster. Disaster. A, disaster. a little bit so, of a disaster again. So, so. A lot of money lost. A lot, a lot of money. But it's all right. But we're going we're gonna to reboot the Patreon real shortly. Stay tuned for our next donation and yep. plan. Exactly. Thank you, Brandon. Don't let that discourage you guys in the future from helping us out mm-hmm. on Patreon. That was just a uh 
great idea gone wrong. Yeah. Well, hey, we should get to it. Yeah, enough of this preamble. Let's uh, let's review a movie. Yeah, let's do it, boys. All right. So the first film we're going to review this week is called Talk to My Dad. It was a documentary. It's about these four dads that go around the country talking to other dads about being dads. I found that it was interesting. It, you know, made me think about my father. And I know everyone has different relationships. Some people don't have uh, fathers. Some people have lost them. Some never had them. All kinds of things. Some have great ones. Uh, it explores all those issues. They talk about pretty much every dad under the sun in this flick. Um, what were you guys' thoughts? Yeah, the ultimate dad road show. This was an enjoyable film. Uh, as a big fan of dad jokes, let me tell you, there are no shortage of dad jokes in this movie. There's a good uh, a flag football scene when uh, the dads get together in, I think it's Michigan or something. They get together in Michigan, do this big game. Or is it Idaho? Whatever. I don't remember. I'm not good with the Midwest. If that's even the Midwest. Uh, but the dads are fascinating. One of the four dads that we have are uh, Jesse Tannen, Ken Andley, Doug Price, and uh, Shern Tunks. Shern Tunks. Um, each one is kind of a different kind of dad. Yeah, and they all have their own recliner that gets, you know, freighted with them at every road show. And let me tell you, if someone sits in the wrong recliner, it's a big ordeal. It sure is. Yeah, Jesse's favorite recliner, that uh, blue leather lazy boy. Tam goes ahead and he tries to play a practical joke and he farts in it, but it ends up being a little more than a fart. And uh, they they have a whole fiasco cleaning that recliner at the at the convention. It was a Jeep convention that they'll set up shop at. And uh, it was like that was pretty. Yeah, that was like the interactive talk. Talk to the dad feature that they did at a lot of Jeep conventions. Yeah, that was a wild moment. They had to clean up that chair. But they were eating dad food the whole time. They were away from the wives. So they were off their diets and. You know, there's a lot of burping and farting and just um, throwing the ball around. It's great. Yep. Cool. Well, I give a talk to my dad. I give I get a one. I don't think it was a necessary film. You know, it was fun. It was interesting. Like I said, it was uh, made me think of my relationships uh, with fathers out there. But uh, yeah, nothing new for me. So a one for uh, talk to my dad. Brennan? Yeah, I'm going to give it two points. I enjoyed it. I thought it was an enjoyable road show, lighthearted, some funny dad jokes, uh, a little bit of fart jokes. Uh, two points for me. Two points from me. I love dads. I love dads talking. I have a great dad, so I can appreciate that. All right, so we got six push-ups coming our way here. Uh, I give it a six. one. Five. Yeah. Oh, five. Okay. Five, points. five push-ups. All right. Okay, go for it. Who's going to do I'm that? I'm going to put down my microphone. You're going to do it first? We, 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 we don't all do them. Oh, we all have to do uh, it? I'm going to do some push ups for you. No, no, no. Let's all do it. You're right. Five each. Okay. All right. Here we go. Five, two, eight, four, five. All right. <clears throat> there you go. That's five. Great. All right. The next film we're going to review... Oh, wait. We should probably go to a sponsorship, huh? Yeah, definitely need a sponsorship break. Let's um, kick it. Having trouble decrypting web pages or dealing with server blocks? Need refiltering, unsizing, or just a basic upload restructure for your personal website? We're working on uncluttering, defragging, and overhauling the internet as we know it. Just drop a Scrum link and we'll do the rest. Scrum link, making the internet easier. What does, I don't even know what the fuck Scrum Link does. All right, this week uh, we saw a film called King Me. This is a summer camp movie. It's about these kids that are all kind of sent to, these are like orphan kids, and they're kind of recruited and sent to this summer camp where they end up playing a lot of board games, specifically a lot of checkers. Uh, and then it turns out as the film goes along that they find out they're kind of being watched and uh kind of plot un unveils itself and it turns out that this has been a whole government organization they're looking for these genius children so they've kind of uh, pulled them out of orphanages and stuff and they're trying to find the smartest checkers player something about the uh i missed this a little bit or i was confused by this something about the way a checkers player's mind works is the ideal um i don't know what they were looking for a universal not a soldier but like a universal commander so they're trying to find someone that plays checkers incredibly well. Um, they end up... Uh, yeah, they, they refer to it as the commander flow. It's like this uh, flow state that your mind goes into when you're playing when checkers. When you're playing checkers, yeah, specifically. 
Yeah, and you know, and then they um, they start to kind of weed out the children uh, by having the children kill each other on on accident. The children don't really realize this, but the checkers games they're playing uh, are ending up killing the other the, the other kids until they figure it out. They band together and they kind of try to retake uh, over the island that they're trapped on. They try to re regame the game because it's filled with traps, poisonous checkers, exploding chairs. You know, all these are spoilers, of course, but. The game, the game itself, was filled with traps. Yeah, it's pretty cool, pretty, uh, pretty, in, um, pretty interesting film. It fe- you know, it feels a little Hunger Gamesy kind of, which I, I like. I like checkers though, and I haven't thought of checkers in a long time. Mm-hmm. You know what? Yeah, I was kind of on the same page. It made me pull out the old checkers board and play it, and um, it's just as boring as I remember. And it's, um, I don't really get that this is such a you know, strategic tool for the government well, because it's a solved solved game. It's a pretty idiotic game, honestly. Okay, but to but. to be like to clarify a little bit, this film was actually funded by Hasbro, which owns Checkers. And I looked into it. the The owner of Hasbro right now, this guy Doug Price, he threw a ton of money in this movie in an attempt to kind of make you pull out your Checkers board, exactly what you kind of did. I mean, it's basically like that movie Battleship that came out. It's just a total kind of forced right. film out of something that really doesn't have anything to make a movie about it. What I mean, Battleship was so did so poorly. I'm not surprised. You know, I actually hear that they're working on a dice movie. Mm-hmm. Huh. Where it's real life game of dice. Yeah, I'm sure that'll do not that well. I wonder, I wonder. I, I'm unsure how well this film is doing, but uh, we're likely to see a lot of Hasbro product movies coming out shortly, I'm sure. Well, considering we were able to watch a full length feature film on the Hasbro website and nobody's even talking about it, I don't think this movie's doing so well. No, no, they couldn't get a a studio release at all. So, yeah, it's only available on the website. But anyway, uh, so it comes it comes free with a game of if you buy a box of checkers. Imagine that you buy the checkers edition, checkers movie edition, checkers game. And it gives you, or yeah, and then the, the downloadable app too comes with yeah. a uh, watchable play of the movie. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, so so interesting, fun moments for sure. I, I did enjoy it. I feel like it's an abuse in a sense that it's again, it's a film made for a reason, just to kind of promote an old game. But uh, I still give it a two. I enjoyed it. I thought the the action was pretty fun. I give it a two. Yeah, at the attempt, and it was a. It was fun. I got another spoiler. When the parents come to pick up their kids, they're very disappointed. That's a very sad moment in the movie. So be prepared for that. But overall, well, those aren't the parents. Those are the like, those are the uh, what was it? The, the the lady from the orphanage, the like headmistress or whatever. But but yeah, either way. Oh, right, right, yeah, right. Either way. Anyway, cool. Brandon, what would you think? Two points as well. Yeah, I love these type of movies. And honestly, when I pulled out my checkers board, I think I found that flow state. I was really in the zone. Huh. Very cool. All right. Well, then six. Six points. Six. I guess we'll have to sit down and play again because I didn't think it was that that good of a game. I did like the movie, but. All right. <clears throat> Am I doing more push-ups? We or... all are. I'm doing it with you. We... Six. Yeah, we all are. All right. Let's all right. Ready? Six. Here we go. Yeah. Go. All right. Okay. That's going to get right, easier. Everyone back. Just keep, it's going to get six. easier. It gets yeah, easier. You just get stronger. Hashtag. Okay. Hashtag it gets easier. Health. Week. Writing this down. Yeah. Hashtag back health. Okay. Uh, week back health. Week back health. Is it week back health or is it back health week? Both. Week back health week. Oh, week back health week. Got it. Great. Okay. Ready for the next one? Yep. All right, boys. We got a wild one this week. It's called Fierce. Here's the actual tagline that they threw us. Lou is a fighter. Amy has the brains. Christian's got the plan. There's an alligator, a retired boxer, and a whole lot of cocaine in this movie starring the band 30 Seconds to Mars. Now, I want to get your first. Did we all see this yes. one? Absolutely. I want to get your first impressions, Brandon, on this whole 
this was a wild ride. First of all, can I get you to to consent to that? This was a wild ride. This movie doesn't does not stop. One hundred percent. There was like the editing in this film is crazy. Like scenes were starting at like almost before other scenes were ending. They were like so clipped together so fast. I felt I don't know. Am I crazy? No, you're not crazy. They actually did overlap. Some scenes. of the dialogue overlaps and stuff. Oof. Yeah, so you have to be. I feel like you should be on cocaine to actually watch this movie and keep up. Jeez, with it. yeah. Was... You guys weren't on cocaine when you saw it. No, I was not. Um, yeah, I could barely keep up. So wh- what was it? Okay, so there's uh, there's the retired boxer guy, right? The old I. There's an old guy, and then there's a young fighter. Lou is the young fighter. He's got to fight right. this Lou's guy, the young, and he's, he's supposed the to fight the retired boxer for like a big prize money in the South or whatever in Florida. Uh, and the retired boxer replaces his arm with an alligator, and since it's a no bars held fight, they allow it. Yeah. So he's fighting with his arm. With an Anything alligator goes. Like, strapped to it. Yeah. The alligator snort, right. snorting cocaine. He is a fierce alligator attached to this man's arm. Yeah. And uh, it all flies off the rails when the alligator has a plan of its own and throws the fight. Yeah, because Amy is the name of the alligator. Right. So, yeah, Amy is the, the brains. brains. Uh, totally. I, yeah. Spoiler alert. And then so the alligator and the guy, Lou, the young guy, takes the alligator. He takes the prize money. He... Uh, it's a lot. It's a fast movie. It's very fast. It feels like an infinite loop because he buys cocaine with the prize money and sets up a fight with Amy. Yeah. Didn't it feel like it was just looping? It felt like a three minute loop for 45 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there was hardly words spoken. They were just it was like every scene was just basically a word. If that. And a lot of the um, there's a lot of that effect. I don't know what you call it. It was in uh, Evil Dead and kind of in Snatch. Those like montage shots of stuff, hands grabbing things, stuff like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, fast wipes, star wipes, blurry, blur effects. Some pretty Just fun wipes. Of... Though. Let, let, let's all agree there were some pretty fun wipes. Definitely. Um, but this movie was exhausting to me. I couldn't keep up with it. Well, next time we see it, Alex, let's make sure to get some cocaine, like as per, uh, Brandon's Sounds recommendation. Good. Yeah, I mean, it was it just seemed like a normal movie to me. But. Uh, yeah, this thing is definitely fierce, I would say. Lives up to the title. Uh, I, I'm going to give it a one, though, because I don't think this is for normal people. I wouldn't recommend normal people see this movie. Um, this movie's getting a one from me because it was just so draining i want to be entertained i don't want to have to feel like i'm running on a treadmill when I, or doing push-ups when i'm watching oh, I, so I by the way real quick before brand scores i didn't notice the band 30 seconds to mars in the film at all um i don't know the band that well but were they they were in there it says it's starring that band but i didn't see them at all i have to admit i don't know any of those guys i don't really know that music um <clears throat> maybe so they were in there i didn't i didn't notice it either Anyway, all right, Brandon, what'd you give it? Well, um, yeah, I like this movie. I'm going to give it a two. I mean, it seemed like a normal movie to me. I did a little bit of cocaine beforehand. Um, They were giving it out at the theater here in New York. It seems, you know, pretty standard. Um, I saw the band. I'm surprised you guys didn't see the band. They were, you know, performing a couple of their songs, actually. But two points for me. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Huh. All right. Well, uh, that's four push-ups. Uh, Alex, I guess, are we all doing push-ups? Yeah. I'm going to do some push-ups. <laughs> all right. I'm done. Yeah, so, that was uh, only four. It's not bad. Four seconds to Mars. Four push-ups to Mars. <clears throat> You're going to be a healthy man by the end of this podcast. Almost guaranteed. All right, let's kick it to a sponsor. Yeah, before we kick it to that sponsor, I encourage all of our listeners uh, listeners to do push-ups along with our episode um, today. Keep up with the, the one-two reviewers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'd be great. Let's all get healthy together. Yes. 
The hat cobbler is trying to turn all the hats into shoes, and only your team of elite hats can stop him. 4hats.com is proud to announce our first mobile game. Smash Brim Sharks, collect haberdasher points, and stop the hat cobbler before it's too late. Download now to receive our free promotional hat cobbler subscription to 4hats.com. We send you two hats, you keep one for one week, hang on to the second for one additional week for no charge. Find us in the App Store, anywhere else you get apps, or simply visit our website, 4hats.com, making hats simple. Okay, this week we all, I'm positive, we saw Canvas. This is the story of an oil painter and the two women that shape him and his life. Um, Now, the thing about this film is all the props, all the costumes, all the furniture, they're actually played by a motion capture king, Andy Serkis. Um, this, I was excited to see this film. I'm a big fan of Andy Serkis's work. Um, I played video games. I've seen many movies where he is some of my favorite CGI characters. Um, Alex, what do you think of this film? Okay, so I have a thing with Andy Serkis that like that guy kind of, uh, I'm sure the guy's great. His work is wonderful, but it bothers me that he is the yeah the mo- motion capture king or whatever that he's he's in everything. You know, he was like King Kong, and he's in Planet of the Apes, the Hobbit stuff. He's all over the place. And it bothered me that I think there's a lot of experienced actors out there that could do the motion capture like he does. And I had to eat my words because he knocks it out in this movie. It's crazy. He plays everything. There was one time, one time in the entire film when he is playing the main guy's parka, like that big coat he's wearing. And there's one time that I noticed like the sleeve looked a little like a human hand or whatever, like barely. And I was looking for it. Um, I wouldn't have known that every piece of furniture in this film was played by a human. If, if I didn't like, you know, know that going in, I, I, he's amazing. Sorry to just gush about it, but I hated that guy or I just, I, I just didn't like him. And now I'm, I love him. He's amazing. So kind of your, your point was that anyone could do what he yeah. does, right? Anyone could pretend to be King Kong in a green screen suit and get CG. Well, not anyone, but I think there's a lot of actors out there. You know, I know like even in my theater company, there's lots of people that are very good with their bodies. Like, I don't think it's that amazing of a skill. So I think that's a big, I a big was... part of why they wanted to make this movie so that they could put the proof in the pudding and say, okay, anybody could swing at an airplane like mm-hmm. King Kong. Anyone could jump around and drag their hands yep. like Golem. But to drape and be still and be just a knob on a door and just be the or that, door it's like, the way he does it. It's like a beautiful still life painting. It's just incredible. Yeah, the wedding dress was gorgeous. And I don't know how, yeah. I have no idea how he did that. I watched a documentary or not documentary, but like a little internet video about the making of this. And it showed him doing green screens, a lot of stuff. I saw him do the table. I saw him uh, do a couple of the bowls and stuff. It did not show the wedding dress. That just blew my mind. I have no idea how he did it. It was, it was like, magical the way he swept like this gossamer jellyfish it was just it wasn't like a real wedding dress no it moved it It moved it had its own character but believable yeah oh my god i loved this movie i loved andy's work in it uh i yeah i take back everything i've ever said negative about that guy Uh, i give this movie the biggest two i could give uh, I'm right on board with you. I, it, it gets a two from me as well. Solid two from me as well, guys. And I'm excited to finish this show off with some more push-ups. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's six then, right? Six for canvas. Six. Let's do it. Six. Right. There we go. Four. Five, six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Oh, it feels good. We should just work out together more often, guys. Can I call you sometime? Well, I was thinking about doing another rescreening of reps with those uh, protein popcorn balls and uh, the light Yum. butter. Because I got the protein popcorn ball people to sponsor me and the life water people. That's 50 cents. So I just like the PPB peas. <clears throat> Is that protein the popcorn acronym ball for people? The PPB PP, PPB peas. Yeah, they're good though. Exactly. Good. I pop a few every morning, like with my vitamins. You know, just some extra protein doesn't hurt at all. I'm glad you've been doing that lately because of the back to health, back week, back. back yeah, hashtag week back, week, back health week. week. Uh, well, that's it, guys. I guess right. That's we're at 21, 22. 
We're over 20. Yeah. yeah. Let's let's call it a show. All right. Well, that was a lot of fun, guys. I, again, uh, great to watch movies. Great to talk about them with you guys. I very much enjoy it. Yeah. Um, and to our listeners, thanks again for supporting us on Patreon. We don't really have a big project planned right now, but we've got more action on the way on that uh, Patreon. Get get on Patreon for that and see us next week. I don't know. Do you guys have some movies that we're going to be We've got some, but we're always looking for movies, week? honestly. So if you've caught a, a flick uh, that you enjoyed, uh, shoot us the, you know, shoot us the name uh, of that film and we will uh, hunt it down and we'll watch it. You know, we're always looking for new films. Absolutely. As well as new films, we also would appreciate you to just take a moment and review us on iTunes. iTunes is the only place I know has an easier review system than we do. They only have straight five. So go ahead, drop us a five star review. We would definitely appreciate it. And I got that list up. Join us next week for some movies on our list. Hack Fish, My Little Homie, Float Me, Hold Me Up, Young Lines, and The Dog, My Dog the Phoenix. As well as crumble dough, too. As well as toasted with butter. Oh. Can't wait for that one. All right. Thanks for listening. All right. Thanks, folks. We'll see you next week. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. Okay. Great.